For those of you that have liked multiple Facebook pages, you're probably faced with the dilemma of how do I actually engage with all of these different pages at once? So today, we're going to show you how you can manage Facebook pages with inside Google Reader. This way you can spend more time consuming the content as opposed to actually sifting and sorting through it. To get started, you really only need two tools, a Google Reader account, which is free, and a Facebook account and some Facebook pages that you've liked. So step one is to visit a Facebook page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to the left and we're gonna click on Get Updates via RSS. For those of you that are unfamiliar with RSS, it's basically an aggregate of all of the content, in this case, on your Facebook page. So step three is gonna to be to copy the URL and then to head over to Google Reader. Once you've copied the URL from your RSS feed, you're gonna to wanna to click on the button at the top that says add a subscription, and we're gonna paste the URL that we've just copied. Once you've entered the URL from your RSS feed and click the add button, you'll notice that my Facebook page now shows up on the bottom left. If you click this item, you will see a list of all of the updates that have been posted to this particular Facebook page. If you would like to view any of the items that you see, you simply click on the title and it shows a synopsis along with some additional controls, like the ability to email it, to share it, to add tags, etc. So if you would like to add additional Facebook pages, one thing that I suggest is to add a folder. To do this, you click the drop down to the right of an item and select new folder. In this case, I've called it Facebook Pages and Business. And you can drag and drop this item and order it how you would like. So now that we've added one Facebook page, let's add some additional ones. In this case, I'm going to go back to Facebook and I'm going to search for the CNN Facebook page. I'm going to repeat the steps from above and I'm going to scroll down and click Get Updates via RSS. Again, I'm going to copy the URL, head over to Google Reader, and in this case, I'm going to click on Add a Subscription after I have selected the folder that I want this item to be added to. If you'll notice, my Facebook page business folder shows 18 updates, a combination of CNN updates and my Facebook page updates. So anytime I want to go consume additional content, I simply just have to go to the folder that I've created or an individual item, and I can see all of these Facebook pages in one place. Hopefully by now, you're not left wondering, why should I use Google Reader to view my Facebook page updates? For those of you that are still questioning this, there are a number of reasons why you may want to use Google Reader. The main thing is that you no longer have to go to Facebook and sift through your newsfeed just so you can see a few updates from the pages you've liked. Instead, you simply take a few minutes to add those items to Google Reader and you'll be able to view all those updates from within one location. And speaking of locations, Google Reader is mobile. This way, you're no longer tied to your desktop. You can view Google Reader on your desktop, on your smartphone, and on your tablet. It's a great time-saving tip, and it's a great way for you to stay connected with the Facebook pages that you've liked. So there you have it. That's how to use Google Reader to view your Facebook pages. If you like this video, please take a moment to head over to our official Facebook page and click the like button.